Mark here, so just for a change, I'm gonna do a bit of a local one. So yoga in Brighton. I'm about to go to the Brighton Buddhist Center to a yoga class. Uh, I was thinking um, there's a lot of yoga in this town, which is really cool. Also a little bit confusing for a beginner. Um, so yeah, this is my little guide to yoga in Brighton. Um, okay, so obviously there's different kinds of yoga. So I'm not gonna say like the best class, cause it depends what you want. Uh, for example, personally, I'm not a huge fan of hot yoga. Um, though I did uh, go to a good hot yoga studio um, over by Hove Station, run by my friend Aftab. So uh, there's hot yoga there. Uh, there's a Bikram studio, um, but if you're giving money to the Bikram Empire, I would seriously take a look at your ethics as well. I don't know what the people are like. They might be lovely, but that's not something uh, I want to give my money to. So um, of the kind of options there, if you're a hot yogi, I'd recommend the one over by um, Hove Station. Um, in terms of gentle relaxing yoga, lots of good options. The Bright Buddhist Center, Vidya Dasa is a friend and colleague of mine, but he was a yoga teacher before we were mates, and uh, he does a really good class at the Buddhist Center. Lots of other good teachers there. Lots of Scaravelli inspired teachers in Brighton, actually too many to mention. Um, Gary Carter is really top end. You know, he teaches anatomy all over the world, strong anatomical base, as does Pete Blackaby. Uh, and all the teachers at Unit 4, a lot of them associate with P, all the people that Gary's worked with and taught over the years, and other Scaravelli type people, is Mark Wolford, who's very well thought of. Oh God, this, this is really like a lot in that kind of Scaravelli lineage, um, often associated with those two big names, Gary and Pete, or other people, uh, Dart, there's all sorts. So there's, there's, there's some really good stuff in terms of that. I highly recommend that. Uh, then you've got the partner yoga crowd, so you've got Neilon who's well established, um, you've got Kat, you've got other people that do partner yoga stuff, well worth looking at, the kind of more, on the more kind of more like young, fun, dynamic, kind of leggings wearing crowd. Uh, Effie runs about balance, there's some good kind of young dynamic teachers there. Um, on the more I yet, so yeah, about balance, well also kind of accessible. Uh, there was another kind of community class by a good teacher called Diane. Um, if you look at Lick Yoga, because it was sponsored by Lick Yogurt, um, so I'm not sure if they're still going, that was a good one. On the more Iyenga side, so that's more like, we could say traditional posture shaped. Um, Jim Tarran is the one I'm gonna go to tonight. Jim, very much on the sort of deep, esoteric, spiritual side, really strong background in Sanskrit, philosophy, those kind of studies, him and, and many of his students are around Vajrasati yoga, kind of strong in Brighton, moving out to London and other places now. Uh, there's a woman, Louise, who's very established at the Brighton Natural Health Centre. Um, yeah, so she is very good if you want like traditional old school, Louise is great actually, she's I don't know how old she is, but getting on a bit and super lovely, kind of strict, you know, that's the Iyengar vibe. Um, yeah, Bright Natural Health Center's got some other good teachers there, there's different things going on. Plus, we've got all the other sort of movement based arts in Brighton, like the Fire Rhythms and the Feldman Cries and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm sure I've forgotten people, including probably mates of mine, but there's a bit of an overview. Uh, there isn't that much like, strong vinyasa type stuff in Brighton. That's, I say, the one thing that's missing if you're into, into that. But certainly Scarabelli, Iyenga, hot yoga, you know, kind of Buddhisty chill out yoga. Uh, we've got plenty going on there. So, um, yeah, lots more in Brighton, but they're some of the people I go to. Vididasa, Gary Carter, Pete Blackaby, uh, Effie, and About Balance people. They're all people, um, you know, Jim Tara, and they're all people I recommend and go to myself. So, there's my little quick guide to some of the yoga in Brighton. Um, if I have forgotten you or missed you out, then sincere apologies.